All right, the next giveaway. I've got a lot. I know, I know. I've got a lot of stuff to give away because I have a lot of stuff. I buy so many things and I don't use them. Uh, one of the things I don't use really at all ever is wireless microphones. It's weird how everybody feels like they need to use a wireless system for YouTube. Like why? You're usually like five to 10 feet from the camera. You get a lot better quality anyway when you just plug the damn microphone right into the camera. And uh, wireless just, it, it's just so useless. Now, unless you're like 30 to 50 feet away running around in a field somewhere and the quality isn't as good as plugging the microphone right into a camera. I record right into a little pocket recorder that goes in my pocket. That's what this is. So uh, I don't use wireless. I mean, this, this is the best quality. It goes right from the microphone right into the recorder. And then you sync it up with the camera. Anyway, so these are really good wireless systems that I'm giving away here. They're the most recent ones by Rode, by DJI, by Movo. And they sound great, but they have one major flaw. One huge flaw, which I am amazed that they are, they haven't, I can't believe they don't have this in there. And that is when you plug a um, microphone into the transmitter, it comes right out. There's no, even the cheapest microphones, lavalier mics usually have a locking, a threaded locking. This just pops right. I tried this for the first time a week ago. I did a, a little video thinking, oh, well, what the hell? I'll try a wireless system, right? So I plugged this in. I put this in my pocket, and I got a great recording of the inside of my pocket. It was just rustling sounds because the microphone came out. There is nothing locking this, this microphone into here. Even the cheap Tascam DR10L has a threaded input here so you can put that in there and turn it and there's nothing no way of getting that out so Tascam's got it right with this and this is this is actually a good recorder I've been using this for many many years uh, this is a good pocket recorder this is the original DR10L and this is the new 32-bit uh, they both have the locking so this is smart so if you're gonna get a recording device I suggest don't do wireless just stick the damn thing in your pocket and have it threaded and that's fine uh, the one that I'm using right here the Zaxcom ZFR 400 this is a thousand dollar professional unit it has a Limo 3 connector, which is a professional locking mechanism on there. Um, so you know, all the good ones have it. So I'm surprised that these things have no way of securing the microphone into here. And the other thing is that this is really good because you can actually record this internally on the transmitter on this thing. You push this button here, the record button, see the little red light comes on? Now it's recording. It's actually, you don't even need this as a wireless. It records right into this as a portable recorder. But guess what? You even accidentally touch the button, it stops recording. See the red light goes out, you touch it, it goes on, off. So this could be going on and off, on and off, on and off in your pocket. It has a locking mechanism here, but most people don't know to push that. The main thing is there's no threading on the input here. So I am giving this away. This is, it's a great little system. We've got two transmitters, one receiver. So this is the DJI mic uh, wireless system. I'm giving that away. Here's the wire, Rode Wireless Go To. Same thing. Nice little portable system, but no threaded uh, thing on top. Movo. This is the one I was going to keep. I like this one the most because, I mean, it's not as rugged as these it's more of a cheaper plastic thing but i like it because it's more lightweight and i like the underdog anything that's really popular on the internet on youtube i i tend to not go that way because everybody's hyping it up and it, 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 this stuff is good quality but i like to make great things with cheaper things so that's why i like the movo unit this was going to be my favorite i was going to keep this and it does charge in the case just like the other ones it, you know all that but it doesn't have the threaded input. So I, I'm giving those away too. I'm also giving away this thing here. Finally, I, I almost didn't want to. This is a, a professional $1,000 uh, industry pocket recorder. It's Electrosonics PDR, stands for per, uh, Pocket Digital Recorder. Uh, it uses a TA5 connector on there. So it's uh, it locks in there also. It's a, um, so you need TA5 um microphones. Anybody who's in the professional world would know what this is. Don't get this unless you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it has the headphone jack and everything. This is an Electrosonics PDR that requires a TA5 input connector. Uh, okay, I'm also giving away some actual microphones here. These are headset mics. I'm using one right now. 
headset mics is what they use. Uh, this is the best quality you can get for audio because it's the microphone's right next to your mouth. And this is what they use in churches and talks and lectures like Ted talks and stuff like that. When you're on stage lecturing to people, giving demonstrations, or if you're doing, uh, you know, if you're working in the garage and you're assembling something or doing workshop stuff, or you're doing tabletop stuff, this is the best way to have a microphone close to your mouth to get the best quality audio possible. Lavalier mics, which down here don't sound as good as these because you've got your chin blocking the audio go, coming from your mouth which shoots out this way and this is down here this gets gets the audio because it's right there in the flow so anyway these are really good um uh, really, really good uh, headset mics. The first one is a DPA 4188. Uh, it's a single ear, and DPA is a really high-end company. Now, again, you got to know what I'm talking about. This has a micro dot connector. This micro dot connector then connects to something like this. <clears throat> These are all micro dot connectors. You can have a micro dot to eighth inch, or a micro dot to Limo 3, or TA5. There's all different kinds, even micro dot to XLR. So that's what you need if you get one of these. You need to have a micro dot to one of these uh, adapters. But anyway, this is professional high-end stuff. This, this is a uh, very expensive headset mic, DPA 4188. This is another DPA. This is a dual ear headset. I don't know, I think it's a 6060, I'm not sure. That, that, this is a, a really high-end one also, but it's two ear instead of one ear. Uh, so this one locks on your head a lot more, so you can do headstands and stuff with this thing on there. So two deep, this is a single ear or a double ear. And then I've got this one here by Drury Lane. This is a DH3. This is a really good one also. It's black, it's really small. Look how thin that is. I'm actually using a Drury Lane headset right now. The one that you're listening to, the one that I'm wearing right now is a Drury Lane headset. This one has a eighth inch connector, so this will fit into just about anything and it's locking. So this is a more standard connector for most people. Both of these DPAs have micro dot connectors, so you're gonna need to get an, a DPA adapter for that. And I'm also gonna give away uh, uh, this uh, gimbal here by iSteady. I got it, I, I, I go through this once every few years, I break down, I get a gimbal just for the hell of it because I have a couple of RX100s and I thought, well, maybe I'll get one for that, but I never use it. I hate gimbals. I never even took it out of the box. It's stupid, I hate it. So if you want a gimbal for a pocket camera, here's, a, here's one by iSteady, uh, ho-hem, there you go. It's ho-hum. Uh, <laughs> and I am not giving away these things. These are mine. So, all right. Here's my audio giveaway for the day. Wireless systems, headset mics, and a gimbal. So, bringing happiness and joy to the world. And, uh, of course, the next giveaway will be probably the day after tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.